All right, welcome. In this video, we're going to go over how to lay out a uh, radius. So let's type in how to lay out a radius. So we're going to lay out the same one. So what we have to know is what's the radius. And that's, in this case, we already know how to get the radius from the 20 and 4. So we already know it's 14.5 from the video where we had showed you how to do it with in the field with just uh, bisecting uh, the perpendicular bisectors of the chords and then uh, Pythagorean theorem trig and then the uh, circle theorem so let's go with the Pythagorean theorem right now <clears throat> so there's we can do it using the Pythagorean theorem we don't need trig so uh, the radius of 14.5 Enter, and that's given so let's go to this we know this is let's just get rid of that it's four and then that means this is also 14 right 14.5 that's the radius so what we're going to do is we're going to lay this out at two foot two foot and in intervals control b so control R, so I already kind of did some of that. Let's get rid of this, it's kind of in the way. We know it's a 14 foot, 14 foot five radius. So let's zoom in a little bit. And that's pretty much the given. We know this is the same 20 foot across. So half of this is gonna be 10. We're gonna go start in the middle and lay out two foot uh, on center. And we're gonna, two foot intervals. And then we're gonna, we need to know what this height is. So our goal is to know this dimension. We don't need that many decimal places. Let's go three, that's fine. So I'm going to have to show you how to get these numbers. So we, we, let's just leave this one up for now. So you can see this one's a little harder to see because the dimension is so small, the difference between those two. Let's just jump right to this one. So you know the distance is four. So H, K, enter. So this is the triangle we're going to create. Let's change the color so we can see the actual triangle that we're dealing with. We'll leave that alone. Let's make this red. So we have the dimension here. We know it's two because it's the same as a, a four, sorry. That's four. We know the diagonal here is also the radius. So we know that's 14.5. Get that out of the way. Get that out of the way for now. So we're, we're, all we're dealing with is the four. We've already got the four up top. We know that's the same. And this is 14.5. And so what we need to do is calculate the length of this side right here. And we can do that by calculating 14.5 uh, squared. Let's go to the tools calculator 14.5 squared minus 4 squared. All right. And then we want to do a uh, square root of that. Q R T open parentheses right there. Just copy that. Control C so you can see it. Control V and then let's change the size to point three five. Enter no, point five. So this for the red one, we're looking at that, and let's hit calculate. 13.9374. 13 or 14.5. So this is 13.9374, right? If we had it to the next decimal place. So what we're going to do, control R, is we're going to, we need to know this distance. So 14.5 minus this will give us this distance. So 14.5 minus that, control C. Compute would give us 0.526. So let's put the dimension right there. So now what we're getting, see now how we do that? 
And then we're looking at the four foot total. Four minus that will give us this dimension right here, 3.437. Calculate 3.4374. So that's how we calculate the height of that at four feet. So let's just go to the next one here. Let's skip one again. Go to this one, eight feet. We're gonna do the same thing. So square root, open parentheses, 14.5, which is the diagonal squared, minus uh, eight squared, close parentheses. That'll give us uh, 12 point. That'll give us this leg, the height of this. Let me just do this from here to here. Eight now, sorry, from there to there, eight foot on the Y. That's what we have right there, 12.093. And then we're going to do the same thing we did before. That's this, so 14.5. Point five minus that would give us this dimension from here to the, to give us this. All right. 2.4067. And then we're gonna do four foot minus that, four minus that will give us the height 1.534, 1. 1.5, 1. 1.5, 1. 1. And that's how you get the height. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into Excel. We're still under 10 minutes, so I think that's a good time to go into Excel. Let's see if I can figure it out. I'm going to do this and make it easier. Is copy this. Make, make it smaller. Control C. Let's open Excel. Let's see if we can't uh, knock out uh, another one here. So Control V. Let's shrink that down a little bit. All right, so the cells are bigger. You can see the type. So what we have is a given is the radius. Enter 14.5, enter. And then the width is 20. And the interval or increment is two. And this is in feet, 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 and feet. Could be inches, 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 doesn't matter. Uh, and now what we need to do is create a formula. So we need to start at the left. So uh, it won't matter for the height, right? The Y is always going to be positive. So negative is not really going to count unless we wanted coordinates to put into a, a drawing program, which uh, it's not my goal here. My goal is just to show you how it's done. Uh, let's see. So we're going to go. The height is four. We're missing one bit of information, right? H is four. Enter. So we're gonna go T. So what do we do first? So equals. This is gonna be always fourteen point five. Let's lock that cell. Lock that reference. And then that is going to be squared minus, uh, we're going to say zero. So two minus two squared. So this two is going to be two. And then the next time it's going to be four. So two. I don't know how we add that each time. So I could do this one first. No, I can't. So, uh, let's do this. I'm going to take that cell and leave it alone, and then I'll paste 2468 here, and this will move down. So, squared. So, we're going to do square root of this. All right. Enter, that'll give us the 13 point, no, whatever that was, right? Let's do that, it's probably gonna be right. Enter, nope. Okay, A from five, I don't know what that is. 
A5, delete, delete, A, number sign, enter. So that's going to give us, no, nah, that's not the right answer. Server A5 squared minus D5 squared D50. Oh, yeah, I did something that should be 50. Enter. That sounds better. So this was the first one that we had. Let's go back to that just to check. Let's get rid of that. Take it to there. This. Get rid of that. Delete. D. H. K. Enter. C. Trim. Just check that number's right. It looks, sounds right. 14.937, 13.937. That's wrong. So 14 squared equals 850 squared. Square root of 850 squared minus D50 squared. E 50 squared. Should be 13.937. Oh, no, that's wrong. Should be 14 point something. Went to the wrong one. 14.361. 14.361. So that's good. Now what we're going to do is equal to that. This will be uh, the answer will come here. Equals 14.5. That's going to be lock reference minus this, which is always going to be the left, enter. And then this will equals this, which is a lock reference. Enter, oh, not that, minus, minus this, enter. That'll give us the 3.8614, 3.8615, Okay, so that's looking good. Now we just need to do a little tune-up here. So I'm going to drop this down so you know. So this equals this plus 2, enter, and then we could just drag this down. 4, 6, 8, 10, and then I think this 2 is D50, D50, D50 should be right here, D50 is going to go down to the next one, so right here, I think I can just draw this down like that, then we get, uh, nope, yeah, no, 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 no. So the last one should be 2.7, and we're at 2, yeah, 2.7, 3.437, so that's how we get the height. So these are our answer, and then the last one is zero. Uh, it's not the greatest. You kind of have to tune up how many feet you want here, and then paste this down the same number. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's how you could get those. So I would do like we did before is uh maybe put those in the highlight like you could highlight those so that you know that those are the ones where you eh, maybe not the highlight uh maybe better in a red light red okay so we know that those get, and then that the answers here, let's just put them in light blue. And you, this, this column here, you could drag way down, uh, depending on how many spaces you got. And make that blue. Let's say the answer, blue text. I don't know where that came from. Oh, because I did a copy and paste, clear contents. Maybe all those should be clear contents. All right, so that's, but and then this format them also that they would be blue. 
And then if you had, let's say it was a 12 feet, it would be zero, it would be start to come in negative from there, I bet, uh, instead of positive Y, it would be negative Y. So if we went like this, maybe to 16 feet, and then we took this, and down some more, it would start to be negative. Yeah, that doesn't matter because there's no number there. So it would be like that. So it would be, and it seems like that, the if we went to 16 and uh feet let's put these up so they match right so at four feet two foot the interval of two foot the two foot four foot this would actually be this would be like this interval so the first one would then change 16 two foot this is two foot so this doesn't match up this would be like this and then this would be equal this enter then this would be this be 53 plus two I don't like the way it cleaned up but equals that and then this equals this plus two enter and then you would copy that down it's the same number it just matches up we didn't have a 16 feet so let's take a look at uh, 14 feet over negative 6.72 so let's continue this curve i don't know that it goes to 16 feet does it no it would only go to 14.5 okay let's look at 14.5 should be zero Oh, no, it shouldn't. It should be negative, negative 10.5. Uh, 14.5. Let's see. Well, we could go to 14 feet. Let's go 14.5. 14.5. Enter. Let's take this one down one more. 10, negative 10.5. So that's a good formula. It's looking like it's locked in pretty good. I mean, you obviously could make it a little better, a little cleaner, but you know, so that you understand what the, the feet were. But this is pretty straightforward. I don't know, maybe it took 10 minutes to put together after we kind of showed you how the math goes and applying the math into the formula. So that's how you would create a, a, a layout for an arc, given the radius and the width and then the interval and then using that information putting into excel and creating a something that you could use but just so you know the the new construction master pro maybe i forget what version it is 20.1 or something like that it has uh you put in the width here 20 you call uh four rise 20 run then hit the arc function over and over and over it'll give you the Chord length, it'll say 20. Uh, maybe it'll give you the rise again, four. And then it'll give you the, the length of the circumference that this is, the length of that. It'll give you the area of this corded area. It'll give you the area of the sector. It'll give you the included angle. And then it'll start giving you the length. It'll go four foot. And then 3.86 feet, 3.437 feet, but you tell it two foot in the default spacing. And that's a pre before you put anything in there, you have to default the spacing on your studs. I think it's a, uh, I don't think it's five on the, oh, I can't remember, but Construction Master Pro, you can set your intervals sort of like how you set your stairs to what you want your rise and run. It would give you the closest to match. Same thing with the stud layout, you can go. 16 on center 19 at a quarter on center 24 on center or whatever three you can make it anything you want uh, and that's how this thing works man so that's another way to get it the, the next video i think i'll do a, another video showing you how to use the trig which was uh you know this four foot over this is the sign of the angle maybe i don't know that i would do that i think i would just do it exactly the same pythagorean theorem i don't know there's a trig way to do it I'll take a look at it if there is. Sometimes the trick's nice. Uh, 
I don't think it would be nice, as good as this, especially when you can put it into Excel or use the Construction Master Pro. I think I'm done with laying out the height of the studs on the cord for now. So hope that helps you and good luck in your career and thanks for watching.